Okay, I have the quattro where I want it. It's positioned. The sun side is in perfect registration. I'm ready to put down my food. Okay, as you can see, we have seven pots of food in there. And it is about eight o'clock in the morning. Lake Arrowhead, 5,100 feet. Full sun, no clouds, no wind. Temperature is probably 60 degrees. I'm super excited right now. I just put down seven pots of food in the Quattro. We're trying to break it. Trying to make sure it can't cook that much food. I think I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised. I'm not even gonna open the bags until about two o'clock because I know it's not even hot out here right now, but it's gonna get hotter. And it's gonna take a long time to heat up all that very cold food that's been in the refrigerator all night. I got ribs, I got chicken, I got potatoes, and I got rice. That's a lot of food. Probably about 17 pounds, but next time I'll weigh it. Um, some people say it won't work. I hope to prove them wrong. We'll see what happens. Have a great day. It's been cooking for two hours and 18 minutes, and I'm gonna adjust the cooker one more time. Now remember, this one's just a cardboard cooker that I made as a prototype. It's got all sorts of issues. I got some new ones coming in next Tuesday, I hope. Coroplast, two mil, should be amazing. It's 11.19, I'm gonna adjust it for the third time. Okay, I'm gonna change the base around so we can catch that afternoon sun. But I'm not gonna open it yet because I don't want it yet. Using hot pads, so this stuff's hot. I'm also gonna rotate the food and switch it around just so I can spin it in case there's any hot spots on the thing. Twelve forty-eight, and I'm going to readjust the cooker. That was a pretty big move I made, and uh, now it's in perfect registration, cooking good. Just using two oven bags. Forty-five, and I'm going to check all the food and uh, see how it's doing. Forty-five, and I'm checking the chicken. It's almost at 170, I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer, but obviously it's cooking pretty darn fast. It's not fast. quite ready yet either, it's at 160. Potatoes need a lot more, so. And I'd say it's almost ready. I'm gonna leave it on a little bit longer. Just stir it up though. Ribs are at 160, need a little bit longer, obviously. The ribs is at 165, a little bit longer, but the potato's completely done. done. It's two o'clock. It just, I cooked it with uh, chicken broth and that's why it looks a little bit uh, like it gathered together or something. I don't know what to tell you, but it's done. It tastes great. It came out perfect. I mean, for 248 and I guarantee you the chicken and the ribs are done, but the potatoes probably aren't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the potatoes around a little bit so they have more cooking time uh, and put them in their own pot. Their own stack. They're almost at 165. Potatoes are getting tender. I'd say they're almost done too. I'm just gonna throw it on there and let it cook. And now the sun is starting to go down. It's still very powerful. But you can see I got some trees coming up here pretty soon. So I got a, another good hour of cooking. And this stuff will all be done by then, I'm sure.
can see the chicken juices are boiling. And the chicken's almost right at 170. It's still climbing past 170. Okay, done. Potatoes are soft and ready to be eaten. I'd say it's a su success. It's almost four o'clock and we're ready to eat. I'm gonna take it over, put it in the hay box cooker. My friends will be home at five, they'll have a nice dinner. Seven pot wonder.